Sri Guru Bionamaha. Welcome to a new session of your Class 11 Entrepreneurship Children. Today, we are going to see a new lesson which is Entrepreneurial Journey. So, we are just going to see where it starts and where it goes, right? So, now we will just start with the case study of Nandita Bijur, right? So, uh, it's a dream come true. People all around were saying, there goes Malti's daughter, the successful business woman. So, previously, what would have happened? We are just going to see what has happened in her life now. Okay, so Nandita was basically a brave, brave child. She was a strong-headed youngster who had a dream which has reaped successful results. So, she had a great dream of becoming a successful person. Of course, business was not her option in her childhood, but we are just going to see how she turned out to be a successful businesswoman, right? So, she is the owner of Uma Food Products, an enterprise worth several crores of rupees today. So, she is the owner for this enterprise. So, now let us see how did she start this business. So, uh, here from her life we can understand or we can learn how to convert the pains to success, right? So, here how do you convert childhood pain and humiliation of ammunition in, sorry, humiliation into ammunition for success? How do you take many small negatives and turn it to a huge positive? This is what we are going to learn from her life. So, she is the best person to answer these questions because this is exactly what she did. So, she had turned all her pains which she had suffered in her childhood to a success. And also she had learned to make all the negatives, put all the negatives together and bring out a very big positive thing. So, this is what she has did and that is what we are going to see now. So, tall and attractive, Nandita executes strength, determination and drive. So, she has all these qualities. She started her business with the investment of only rupees 500, just 500 rupees. She started her business from her personal savings and through sheer grit and hard work turned it to a huge success. So, with all her hard work and determination, she turned out her business to be a successful one. So, Nandita, she never had a childhood because her childhood was very traumatic. Her mom was uh, very often falling sick, okay. So, uh, she was extremely suffering because of all those things, right. So, Nandita's childhood was very traumatic and left many scars on her psyche. When she and her elder brother were only about 6 and 8, their mother Malti fell ill. It was a long drawn illness. So, the illness was prone to a very long period. And since their father was away at work, most of the time there was no one else to take care of her. Malti was moved to her father's house, Nandita's maternal grandfather's house. So, uh, she was just 6 years old and her brother, elder brother was 8 years old. So, his uh, father were working, was working somewhere else and her mother had fallen for a long drawn sickness. So, uh, no one was there to take care of these two kids, okay. So, Malti needed a great deal of care and attention and she lived in her father's house for over 15 years. So, just imagine until she had completed her teenage, she was entering her 20s up to that, even till that, her mother was staying at her father's place, that is uh, <coughs> Nandita's maternal grandfather's place. So, while still a child, Nandita was thrust into the role of a woman of the house because mother was not there at the home, she had to take the role of her mother in the house. She had to take care, even though she was too young for all those things, she had to take care of her brother, she had to take care of all the household works and she had to continue her studies also. So, she never had much time to go out and play like other girls in the neighborhood. So, at that age, usually kids will play out, right? 
they will go out they will play with their friends or they will just watch tv they will just enjoy the childhood but she was not able to do like that she had to take care of her brother and father they seemed to lean on her for support so they were dependent on nandita for support because they did not know to cook they do not know to do the household activities so she was the only person to take care of all these stuffs she shopped and cooked and went to school she was always tired and often it was a struggle to stay awake to do homework because morning she had to go to school before going to school she has to finish off cooking everything at home she has to pack lunch for her and her brother for her father then she had to go to school after the school is over she has to come back home she has to do all the household works the dinner work everything she should do and finally what happened she did not have stamina to sit for her homework she was not able to sit for her homework so sometimes she was so tired in school that her eyes would automatically close and her head drop on her desk so even in school at times she would be so tired that she would not even be able to sit her eyes will automatically close and her head will drop off on the desk she remembers wanting pretty dresses to wear and colorful ribbons in her hair like the other girls <clears throat> so she also being a child usually the children nowadays not only nowadays usually all the children they will see their uh, age group and they will ask things what they are doing right so when a child wears a beautiful long frock then our child comes to us and they will ask us like i want the same long frock then i want the same chocolate i want that toy i want this thing like this they compare with their childhood the <coughs> the same age group and they demand things from the parents so like that even she wanted to do that okay she also wanted to tie colorful ribbons on her hair like the other girls were doing but there was no one around to take her for shopping usually all these things will be bought for the children by their mother right but her mother was not with her so there were there was no one to take her to shop all these stuffs her father did the best he could but he couldn't do very much so he did his best whatever he could do he did it she had two aunts who were kind and loving and she is eternally grateful to them so she, there were two aunts for her who were taking care of them taking care in the sense they were at least kind and loving to her so she is eternally grateful to them so even today she thinks about them with a gratitude and after that what happened the highlights of her life were those <clears throat> those mere occasions when someone took her to visit her mother so the celebration or the highlights for her life was completely that she visiting her mother that itself was a very big highlight for her and she loved her mother dearly and her heart ached for her and she desperately wished she could wave a magic wand and make her well but her mother's condition did not improve so she literally was feeling so pity about her mother she felt very bad about her mother she literally wanted to do some magic and want her mother to be back with a good health but her health did not improve at all and nandita's inner strength and determination surfaces so the childhood was so painful for this nandita and after that what happened most relatives were not very kind and sometimes forgot she she and her brother even existed it hurt her deeply when they were not invited to their first cousin's wedding so as her mother was not well many people forgot about them even so many people avoided them their relatives avoided them and some of them did even forgot that they existed so she felt deeply hurt about that and especially during her first cousin's wedding they were not invited so that uh, gave her more pain and after that relatives frequently referred to her as poor nandita which burned her up very early in her teens nandita decided that she was not a poor thing and refused to be called like that she would show them she decided that a day would come when same people would now pointed to her and said there goes small 
Malti's daughter, poor thing, would say instead, there goes Malti daughter, the successful business woman. So, relatives usually referred her as poor Nandita. In Tamil, we usually say Pavo and the Punna. Like that we say, right? So, like that she was referred by her relatives. So, she completely disliked that word. Okay, so she uh, decided to prove that she was not a poor thing, right? So she, she wanted to prove to them that she was definitely not a poor thing and she refused to be called like that, fine? She did not want it to be called like that. So she, uh, she, get, uh, she got easily irritated when somebody called her in that way and after that, she would show them, she decided that I should prove them that I am no more a poor thing. She is a, see how they were pointing her, there goes Malti's daughter, a poor thing. So those who are saying like this today, they should point out me like the other way. How? There goes Malti daughter, the successful business woman. So that is how they should point out me. So she decided that with a strong determination, right? And now he, she gets married, Nandita's husband, a good kind man. Nandita married in her early 20s. Her husband was supportive. He has a quiet strength that is very healing, she says. That was the beginning of her turnaround. Nandita was a school teacher and her husband Pramod, a chemist. Neither had any entrepreneurs in their families, but they had a shared dream to start a small business of their own. And however, there was one big problem. They didn't have the capital to invest in business. Soon they had two children and they needed both their incomes to live a comfortable life. So she got married in her early 20s. Her husband was a very supportive man. She even says that, he has a quiet strength that is very healing. Yes, he is very supportive and whenever I go to him with a pain, he heals me. Right? So that is how uh, she defines her husband and there, be, there came a turnaround in their life. Okay? So he, this person, uh, I mean uh, Nandita's husband Pramod was a chemist and Nandita was working as a school teacher by then. So, both their families, they did not have any business background at that point of time, okay. So, but they shared a dream, both had a common dream which was to start at least a small business on their own, okay. So, but they had one problem, one thing they had two children by then, so they had to work both together to manage the family expenses, okay. So they need both their incomes to live a comfortable life. So they were not able to think about the business at all. And uh, they, they did not have the capital amount to invest and start the business. So what happened? Next came the idea for an ice cream mix. So one evening, on his way back from work, Pramod felt like eating an ice cream. He noticed an ice cream mix in a store and bought it. So, Pramod while returning from work, Nandita's husband, he wanted to eat ice cream. So, what he did, he went to a store nearby and he bought an ice cream mix. Okay, so that night what she did, Nandita made ice cream using the mix and after the dinner, everyone uh, had that ice cream for dessert but Nandita was disappointed because it, it just didn't taste as good as the ice cream she had earlier made at home. So she was not satisfied with the taste of that ice cream because previously when she had did at home that taste came out very well but this taste was not satisfying her. So what she did after everyone went to sleep okay. Nandita tossed and turned in bed thinking about the perfect ingredients that would make a great ice cream mix. So after everyone went to sleep that day, she was thinking about what are all the ingredients should be added to make a perfect ice cream mix. So that was her uh, mind. 
So at about 4 pm she woke up, tiptoed into the dining room and wrote down on a piece of paper the recipe for an ice cream mix. Little did she know then that this recipe that she penned down on a scrap of paper in the wee hours of the morning would a few years later make them rich. So uh, after thinking about all this water, all the ingredients could make a perfect ice cream mix. She was thinking that and she went to sleep and early in the morning at 4 a.m. she suddenly woke up with a list of ingredients. She just got stuck in her mind about these ingredients and she came up with a list of ingredients. Okay, She did not even know that that is going to make them rich people. right? And when Pramod woke up in the morning, Nandita gave him the piece of paper with a recipe for the ice cream mix and told him, I know what our business is going to be. We are going to make an excellent ice cream mix that people are going to love. When she made the ice cream at home with her own recipe, her kids exclaimed, Mummy, this is yummy. She decided to call it yummy ice cream. She took out rupees 5000 from her savings account and invested it in buying the ingredients and packaging materials. So, she finally came up with a list of ingredients and when Pramod woke up that day morning, what she said? Here is the list of uh, ingredients and I have decided what our business is going to be. And she gave him the list and we sh uh, she told that we are going to make an excellent ice cream mix. Okay, So, uh, when she made her own recipe with the ingredients she listed out, her children exclaimed. They loved the taste and they exclaimed it to be an yummy ice cream. So, then she named her ice cream mix as yummy ice cream mix and she took out 5000 from her savings account and she invested for buying the raw materials and also the packaging materials and after that the start of the business. So first what she did she made ice cream mix at her own kitchen. She was continuing her work also. She packed and sold it first to the neighborhood. Uh, she was working as the teacher that continued, her children were going to school, that continued. His, her, her husband was working as a chemist, that also continued. Okay. So with that, she was managing her uh, work after coming from the uh, school. Okay. So at first, she made the ice cream mix at home in her own kitchen. She packaged it and sold it to friends and neighbors. She continued with her teaching job and made the ice cream mix in the evening. The demand for the ice cream grew in leaps and bounds. Soon, so the demand for this ice cream mix, it grew to a, a very uh, higher level. So, it grew so big that she had to work all night and even enlist the help of her children and husband to meet the demand. So she has to work all the night for making the uh, for meeting the demand. She also should engage her children. She also should engage her husband. Everyone at the home has to work late nights also. So she realized that she would have to quit her job and do this full time as she couldn't do both. She was not able to manage both. So she wanted to quit her job at this point of time. She recognized that she would need to rent a place to make her products. So kitchen will not be sufficient always. So we should rent a place. So uh, she decided that way she couldn't continue do it at home. So she rented a small shed for her first factory in Jogeshwari, it covered an area of 550 square feet. Right? So now, Malti's daughter is not a poor thing. She is a businesswoman now. Right? So Nandita got a bank loan for 70,000 for the factory premises and pledged her jewelry to get an additional loan for 40,000. I was such a no wise that I didn't even know that I needed a current account to run a business. So she was so uh, innocent and she was not aware of what a business is. She did not even know that a business should own a current account. And the first year was very tough. Since her business was new, nobody gave her any credit. Because she is new to the business, no one was ready to give her credit. And especially she was woman 
no one was ready to give her any credits all her suppliers wanted cash okay so whoever supplied her raw materials they wanted her to pay cash immediately and to whom she supplied the products okay all her customers or retailers they wanted to be supplied the goods in credit so she is running out of cash on both the sides right so here you could see all her suppliers wanted cash yet she had to supply her retailers and customers on credit at first she couldn't afford to hire many staff so her children helped at the factory after school so she was not able to pay salary and hire a staff in the beginning stages so what happened her own children after finishing their school classes then they came and helped her during the whole period the one thing that kept her going was the determination malti's daughter is not a poor thing so in in spite of all these pains she was running to prove that malti's daughter is not a poor thing yes and then she told me i wanted to prove to myself and others that i could succeed and make something out of my life i wanted my children to be wealthy i wanted them to give salaries to others and not work to get a salary these thoughts kept me going even during the most difficult times so all these thoughts she want she had a great level of determination she wanted to prove that she could do something in her life that's it and also she wanted her children to be wealthy she specifically did not want her children to work under someone to get salary she wanted her children to be in a position that they will give salary to others all these things kept her going during all these difficult times as nandita became more and more successful with her ice cream mix she introduced new products such as gulab jamun mix and basundi mix she now has over 40 products soon her sales shot up and she hired more employees her husband still continued to work at his job so all this happened her business grew to a next level but then her husband was still working as a chemist and after that a crisis hits and almost wipes her out so now came a very big problem for her nandita hired a capable distributor for her products so she engaged a distributor to sell the goods and her sales quadrupled it grew up to four times greater she hired even more employees and moved to a bigger factory she shifted her location to a bigger place and the distributor suggested a major advertising blitz so the distributor suggested her advertise your product in a bigger level so that it would reach the market so she invested rupees 6 lakhs on tv commercials magazine and newspaper advertisements displays billboards and so on so on all these advertising campaigns she invested around 6 lakh rupees and after that what happened a disaster struck Ma- nandita did not know that there was a uh, already a company by the name of yummy ice creams in goa nandita had not bothered to find out if the name yummy ice cream was already registered and trademarked by someone else the businessman from goa arrived with cbi officers and stormed into her factory and her home he threatened to sue her until she was ruined the distributor intervened and mediated and she also took legal advice they negotiated with a goa businessman and settled out of court this proved so expensive that she almost gave up so this is the importance of trademark here yes so yummy ice creams was already registered by some other person in goa which she was not even aware of she did not even know that she should have a current account and how come she will know about a trademark right so <clears throat> the person that businessman from goa she uh, sorry he came and he wanted to sue this nandita and finally with the help of the distributor and with the legal advices she settled this problem out of the court and the issue was sorted out and that was so expensive she had to spend a lot of money in solving this case and back to square one now once again she had no money and nobody would give her any credit her accounts in the banks had been closed and 
once again she had to pay cash for everything she bought yet give credit to her retailers and customers back to the first position the where we started the business so this was a very trying period once again her determination that malti's daughters will be a successful business woman that kept her going continuously in her business so even after going down to the maximum level she had gone down but then she wanted to prove everyone that she was not a poor thing so now she changed the name as uma food products the uma was the name of her mother in law and also the grandmother okay so it was named as the packaged products were named as eat me and finally her husband what happened now he quit his job and he supported nandita now so now he became the distributor for their own products and thereby they saved payments that they would give to distributors so first what they did she paid off all her bank loans right so that he she would be able to write checks and then she took a loan from a private lend lender at an extortionate rate of 24% interest which is extremely higher rate then they worked day and night to work, pay off all their loans and since then they have only looked up they have turned out to be very successful and she learned a great deal from her mistakes and felt confident to run a successful business venture she has been successful running her business now for the past 9 years so this is all about the case study of nandita which we will discuss more about her in our next session thank you to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates shri gurubhyo namaha